Hello sparkly people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Vera Valentina and let's go to my very first New York City burlesque gig. Let me tell you guys, I was so nervous for this show. I woke up super early and couldn't go back to sleep. So I just decided to go downstairs and make myself some breakfast. On a normal show day, I would make myself a high protein breakfast just like this, only because I know that I'm usually so nervous on show days. I, I wouldn't eat anything else for the rest of the day. And of course I had to grab my cup of coffee. After eating my breakfast, I looked down at my hands and was like, oh my God, girl, get your life together. And I pulled out my Kiss at Home Salon Dip Kit so I could give myself a fresh, full set of nails before the show that evening. I am taking a leaf out of Dita Von Teese's book and when she first started burlesque, she did pretty much everything herself. Hair, nails, skin, all of it. So I'm doing it, baby. A fresh set, ready to go for tonight. Then while doing my nails, I realized that I hadn't sent my music to the producer yet, which is an absolute no-no. For my baby burlesquers, oh my gosh, don't do as I do, do as I say, because I'll tell you what, the fastest way for you to not get booked again is to stress out your producer by not having sent your tech notes and your music notes ahead of time. After I sent that off, I went upstairs and I took a shower because nobody likes a stank ass show girl, washed my hair and then slicked it all back up so that I could, what? add my hair piece. And I will go ahead and put the link for this hair piece in the description box down below because as a showgirl, you need to have a go-to updo hair piece. And this thing is a go-to. It is so easy to just throw your hair in a bun and snap this thing on and you have got a 1950s, 1960s, whatever kind of hairstyle you need. I need to do a tutorial with this thing, I swear to God. After I did my hair and nails, of course, it's time for a quick showgirl beat. Now this really was a quick beat because this is a masked show, so I don't need to put on any makeup from the cheeks down, essentially. After that, I went ahead and got dressed. And as you guys know, I'm driving from New Jersey to New York, so it's gonna be a long haul. We have to be comfortable. So I'm in the process of building like a set of go-to pieces that I can throw on every single time I'm going to a show. Things that are super comfortable to travel in, things that I can lug all my luggage inside to the venue in, things that are also sexy and cute and also something that I can move in if I've got to do a tech rehearsal or something like that. So this is what I found so far, this is a set from Target. It's a Joy Lab athleisure set, and I am looking for more. And as you can see, it's just easy for me to throw this stuff on, grab my things, and then head out the door. All right, so we're in the car, headed out. I have to get gas. Um, I'm not going directly to the club. I'm going to a parking garage around the corner from the club. I'm going to park there, get settled, and then walk from there to the club, which I think is three blocks down and two blocks over. And hopefully I will make it on time because the gas, I was, I should have, I should have left earlier, but here we go. All right, so here's where the fun begins. As I was walking into the club, the producer of the show, Tallulah Talons, stopped me and she's like, hey, dressing room is down here. And I was like, where? And she was like, down here. And we walked down the stairs into the basement of the club and voila, the dressing room. We made it. I am sweating. That was a longer ride than I expected. <laughs> The walk from the parking garage to the club was way longer than I expected and also I got a little lost, but I wanted to show you guys the dressing room down here specifically because this is pretty typical for burlesque. Most of the time you guys see the glamorous side of everything, but we usually are getting dressed in a closet, in a kitchen, in a basement, something along those lines, unless of course you're at like a big theater. or. From here, I had to rush because the show was getting ready to start, so I just got changed, and I wanted to show you guys the Red Bottom Showgirl costume on stage at Club Coming for the first time. I need to put some stones on that mask, huh? It's a mask show. I just did my first act. Um, I did come onto my house in my black costume, the Red Bottom Showgirl costume. I'm getting ready to go back upstairs and watch everybody else, and then come back down again. Whew.
ultimate backstage glamour. Lilith is a glamorous, glamorous occupation. I don't know if the audience has figured it out by now. But it is glamorous. Super glamorous. Super glam, very high glam. Same. You know, we can dress in basements and I mean, you want to look, look the glamour on the body? Yeah, this is, this is it. <laughs> I love that first. Oh, All right, headed up the desk there. Here we go. <laughs> Five for four days. And that, ladies, gents, and my gender non-conforming folk, was my first show in New York City. I am so beyond excited, and hopefully you guys were as well. And hopefully you'll like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!